So Nvidia just launched Picasso, a cloud service that makes AI available to everyone. Maybe you haven't seen what they are doing with text to video with Runway Gen 2. So Nvidia is behind, for example, text to video by Runway ML. So you can see these amazing text to video features that are running in the back end on Nvidia's cloud computing, right? And I'll share with you everything that is happening in the back end here and the features that they are essentially launching to everybody to make it more accessible. And they, Nvidia really believes that AI is the future. And here you can see Gen 2 of Runway ML. And by the way, if you didn't know, Gen 1 is now available to everybody on Runway. But yeah, you can do this with your images. So if you have, for example, a video of your dog, you can now create it into all these different styles, which obviously is absolutely insane. Just go to runwayml.com and check it out. So you might be wondering like, what is Nvidia Picasso? So it's actually a cloud service for building generative AI powered visual applications. Now this is new for Nvidia because usually they sell hardware, right? But now they've actually went into DGX cloud, which is something completely new for them, which I'm so happy that they're doing. Just like AWS from Amazon or Azure from Microsoft, they have all these server rooms that are running computing in the background, right? Now they can maybe use it for storage or you know uploading things to the cloud, but Nvidia is actually doing this with AI and that's where they're trying to differentiate themselves from their competitors. And what they're really working on here is text to image, text to video and text to 3D. Now we've taken a lot of looks on this channel about text to image. There's so many like Mid Journey, Dolly, Stable Diffusion and so forth but text to video is something that we still haven't looked that much into. So it uses a lot of computing power to actually make these models, right? So text to video temporal layers and novel video denoiser generates high fidelity videos with temporal consistency. When it comes to text to video, there aren't really that many good ones yet. And Runway ML to me is the one that is on top right now. Usually they're kind of buggy, they're kind of like lagging a little bit, or especially they're not that pleasant to look at just yet. The space is moving really fast. and I'm happy to see NVIDIA is on the forefront of creating new cool AI innovations. The other one that is very interesting is text to 3D. Now this one is actually very close to being perfect. They can even model things down to specific textures that has like very, very good. Uh, I'll show you in a minute exactly how it works, but making 3D objects with just text is absolutely ridiculous to me. And they can move it you know, into video games, they can move it into 3D design for architecture and a lot of different cool things. So now you can supercharge your applications with generative AI, differentiate your application with custom generative AI models. So for example, they can train your data and create new things just like that. So you can see, use state of art, pre-trained edify models or train it with your custom data set and host it on Nvidia DGX Cloud, perform inference through APIs. Now, NVIDIA has some amazing partners right off the bat. You can see Adobe here that is partnering with NVIDIA to co-develop generative AI models with focus on responsible content attribution and provenance to accelerate workflows of the world's leading creators and marketers. You can also see Getty Images being one of the big partners here. And if you don't know, Getty Images actually sued creators of AI art tool, Stable Diffusion. I think also Midjourney is in problems because they have been trained on all these Getty images, um, images, right? So you can see here that actually this was created by Stable Diffusion and you actually had the Getty image logo there or watermark on top of it, which Getty image is like, nah. Stay away from training your stupid model on our epic images. 
And that's where NVIDIA is taking a step back and saying, you know what, let's partner with the best or the most popular stock image website on, um, on the web, right? So Getty Images is working in collaboration with NVIDIA to provide custom developed image and generation models in Picasso trained on fully licensed data. It's going to be very interesting to see what's going to happen with this in AI, where licensing will actually have a huge impact on what you can use, what you can't use, and so forth. They're also partnering with Shutterstock. And I'm so interested to see what Shutterstock and Getty Images will do, specifically because they're partnering with Adobe as well. Now, if you don't know, Adobe has actually been the most open to AI stock photography or on their stock footage website, they actually started to say, you know what, you can upload mid-journey images. You can upload AI generated images to our stock website. But for Getty Images, they're like, no, 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 you're not gonna upload any AI generated images to our websites. So it's gonna be interesting to see if they're gonna change their mind. It's, and also Shutterstock, for example, is not allowing any stock footage generated by AI on their website. So it's going to be very interesting to see if it's going to develop in some sort of way. I mean, if you can create a photo that looks better than a photo you can take in real life. I mean, is there even necessary to have images um, and stuff like that? Take it by photographers. <laughs> I don't even know. Um, it will, that's why I'm really interested to see what is going to happen there. So Shutterstock is partnering with NVIDIA to develop models to generate 3D assets trained on fully licensed content from Shutterstock. So this is where I think Shutterstock and Getty Images will be a part of the future by just licensing them to train models. And you know what will happen with the lawsuit? I don't know. Now here you can see some customer success stories that are actually using NVIDIA's now GPU cloud um, services Picasso. So you can see Runway that I already showed you guys generate a lush garden. And if you haven't tried Runway yet, I highly recommend it. It's super cool to do. And there are multiple videos on my channel as well on Runway. You can see Sehan Lee that is on uh, Kubrick that uses generative AI to build and edit virtual productions. So you can see here him in his studio here and he says this includes building out environments using generative AI models and then distilling the final asset into a volume. And this is the volume, a big screen that they use in the movies that basically looks like the background is instead of a green screen, right? That engages with the individual in real time. Their cost effective method enables filmmakers, um, production studios and artists to partner with CGI specialists much earlier in the post-production process. And I've taken a look into this for like VFX artists and stuff, and they can basically create the background and then they say, oh, move this box over here. And then they just move the box in real time. And then like make that mountain bigger. And then they're like, make that rocket pointier, you know? And this is gonna change how they use AI in movies faster than I thought was gonna happen. Also, Wombo, uh, Dream, um, Wombo Dream brings generative AI to the masses through their mobile app. Now, I actually never tried Wombo before, and they use a text prompt to generate a desired image and select a style prompt, and their image is generated within seconds. The app also allows users to share their generated art with members of the Wombo community. So apparently, they're just having an image inputting a style and just like that, you get some really cool creations here that is cool to see. So obviously Nvidia uh, Picasso here was a huge success when they launched it and more and more people will start using Nvidia to run their AI models, specifically visually. And I'm super happy to see that Nvidia is actually doing cloud computing. So you don't actually need hardware, you can just you know, hey, click on a website and just like that, you're using very expensive computers to do computing for you. I just wanna show you what NVIDIA is working on in this video here, where they obviously have text to image, which is very normal that we have seen a lot from. 
Here you can also see that they have this bioluminescent jellyfish swimming in space. And just like that, it creates a video. I bet that this is trained on the same model that is runway and uh, they don't create new models like that. You can also see a 3D model of a male bust with a furrowed brow and deep set eyes. And just like that, you have a 3D model that is looking absolutely amazing right there. So here you can see how the NVIDIA Picasso service actually works. And let me actually do it really quick. It's so simple. So you actually put anything like this, like Edify, which is their AI generated on their own. You can actually have custom data or a custom model and use the API service to train and then optimize. And then you get whatever you want, the image, the video or the 3D object. And then you pump it back through the NVIDIA DGX cloud. And just like that, you can have it into your own app, right? So it's absolutely beautiful way of doing it to create your own apps or use the cloud computing. So this is what Adobe is using to put all these things into virtual worlds, moving around, adding trees. And I love that their partnership is so tight and coming out with beautiful partnership right off the bat. If you don't know how hard it actually is to create these 3D assets or how it was like before, for example, you can see 3D modeling and 3D printing for games. It's like 50 bucks, 80 bucks, 120 bucks. And I've seen uh, sketches and 3D models go up to thousands of dollars. Now, this is something that was unheard of before. Like you can just click some buttons and then all of a sudden you got a 3D model, but now that's actually available, which is gonna make 3D modeling way easier, right? Like imagine you don't know how to use a 3D software and you want like a little game piece for your board game. Well, just write some text, click the 3D printer, and just like that, you actually have the thing in your hand which is gonna enable us to do so many cool things. If you want videos like this, where I share the newest updates on AI with you every single day, subscribe to the channel.